about uh, traditional African religions at the 21st century, and he's given us some uh, really remarkable information in reference to the comparisons between traditional African religions and religions of today. And of course, Dr. Madhu, let's uh, continue our discussion mm -hmm. by picking up where you wish to uh, start uh, dealing with this mm -hmm. traditional African religion. Yes, I was on the, on, on the theme of religious tolerance, mm -hmm. you know, amongst, amongst Africans. Mm -hmm. Now, one would ask, why is it that traditional African religion did not move out of its original founding base? Mm -hmm. Africa, just like Christianity moved out of its base, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to ev evangelize and conquer other That's people. Good. Islam moved out of its base in, in Arabia mm -hmm. to evangelize and, Christ, you know, conquer others. Mm -hmm. Now, some will say, well, why didn't this Af traditional African religion move out from Africa mm -hmm. instead of being confined to Africa? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason is this, that traditional African religion was stamped for domestic use only, mm -hmm. not for export, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So that underlining the, uh -huh. philosophy and principle mm -hmm. marked, you know, traditional African religion. It's for Africa and Africa exactly only. Exactly, mm -hmm. for domestic consumption only, mm -hmm. not, not for evangelizing purposes mm -hmm. outside that country. Mm -hmm. Now, that is essentially its incorporating power, its absorbing power. Mm -hmm. Because what happened, because this religion is domesticized and not for export, mm -hmm. okay? It wasn't in the marketplace for creeds, mm -hmm. you know, and souls, Good, uh -huh. okay? So that the tension that would have ari arisen mm -hmm. if the they traditional had African religion out. had tried to move Good, out and uh -huh. become an evangelizing mm -hmm. religion, mm -hmm. you know, creating tension mm -hmm. between itself and Islam, mm -hmm. on yeah, the other hand, and Christianity, Christianity on the other hand, hand. Very exactly, good. did not exist. Mm -hmm. So that absorbing and incorporating, mm -hmm. you know, strength arose from that. Traditional African religions can be as comfortable with Christianity as it can with, as with Islam. Exactly. Is that what we're saying? Uh, uh, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. It, it, co it can coexist mm -hmm. with these two religions mm -hmm. because of its non-evangelizing quality. Mm -hmm. You know, since it was domesticized, mm -hmm. it, does, it did not want to go to Europe to mm -hmm. conquer Europeans. Mm -hmm. It didn't want to go to Arabia mm -hmm. to conquer. It just wanted to stay here and be left stay alone. Here. So mm -hmm. those, uh, those religions that came in were absorbed mm -hmm. comfortably. Mm -hmm. And even the, the tenets were incorporated into traditional African religion. Mm -hmm. For example, you know, where they call the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mm -hmm. I remember when the Belgians were there, mm -hmm. there was a guy called Simon Kimbangu. Mm -hmm. Kimbangu started incorporating Catholicism mm -hmm. into traditional, fusing it with traditional African religion. Mm -hmm. Now, what did the, the Belgians do? Well, they say, hey, this man, is practicing religious syncretism. Corrupted in uh, the exactly, religion. Huh? Yeah, uh, he's uh -huh. practicing religious syncretism. Uh -huh. You know, mixing mm -hmm. Catholicism with traditional African mm -hmm. religion. Yeah, well, they put him in jail where he eventually died. Mm -hmm. But the Kimbangu's religion is the largest religious mm -hmm. following mm -hmm. in Democratic mm -hmm. Republic of the Congo yeah. today. Mm -hmm. You see, because which is uh, a testimony to what he was doing. Exactly, right? which mm -hmm. is a testimony to what he was doing. He's trying to infuse traditional African religion mm -hmm. with, you know, Catholicism mm -hmm. to, to make it more palatable to the population, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? And After all, that was the population they had to serve. Really. Ex exactly, <laughs> that's the population it has to serve, and at the same time in their own language. Mm -hmm. And you should, un you should understand that when Christianity came and all this, they came with, with the Bible written in another language, you know, uh -huh. the priest, priest in, in Latin and mm -hmm. all this. Most of the population didn't know what was being said. Mm -hmm. So some of the, these, you know, traditionalists wanted a religion that mm -hmm. you know would be consonant mm -hmm. with traditional African ways of thinking and mm -hmm. behavior. For example, Islam had more more headway in Africa initially than Christianity, mm -hmm. because when 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 Islam came, it left African culture and religions intact mm -hmm. the way it was. It did not oppose polygamy, mm -hmm. you know, like like the Christian religion did. Mm -hmm. It did not oppose reincarnation mm -hmm. like the Christian churches did. Mm -hmm. It did not oppose exorcism mm -hmm. like the Christian churches did. Mm -hmm. It did not oppose witchcraft, mm -hmm. you know. So it was more mm -hmm. acceptable initially mm -hmm. Good. because of these, you know, acceptance of African way of worship mm -hmm. and, and tradition. Outsiders with their religion coming in to mm -hmm. your uh, continent and trying to change you. Is that, ab is that, yeah. ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you see, there was no concerted effort to export 
the religion, like I said, mm -hmm. but unconsciously it was exported mm. because the slaves mm. took Good. those religions Good. when they mm. left, mm. and you hear voodoo mm. in Haiti mm. and in you know South America and all this. Mm. That's traditional Brazil, African religion. Yeah, yeah, good. Yes, in, mm. in Cuba it's called Santeria. Mm -hmm. That's traditional African religion. In mm. fact, it's one of the biggest religions in Cuba. Mm. You see, unconsciously it has been expo mm -hmm. exported, mm -hmm. even though modified, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, mm -hmm. to suit local so conditions mm -hmm. where, 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 where they operate. Mm -hmm. What is significant about this is that you have 100 million people who are still traditional African religious, you know, mm -hmm. worshippers, which is a huge, it significant is. number, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of religion. Now you have about 500 Christians, 500 million Christians mm -hmm. in Africa. 21% of the world's Christians live in Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay, Like I said, you have 150 million Muslims in black Africa. Mm -hmm. That's 15% of the mm -hmm. world's Muslims. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is, what is significant about this? Now, the Catholics, out of these 500 million Christians, Catholics are about 350 mm -hmm. million in population. Mm -hmm. But majority of these Christians and Muslims in black Africa also worship traditional African mm -hmm. religion. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, as, as well as uh, yes. other Exactly, as well as they would their Christianity <coughs> or, or Islamism, mm -hmm. they still worship traditional mm -hmm. African religion. Mm -hmm. Even the Pope, <coughs> the Pope to be, Cardinal Arinze, mm -hmm. yeah, made a statement a long time ago, you know, that, you know, Christianity should leave African religion alone, mm -hmm. you know, work with it instead, instead of trying, trying to, to change, change it. it. To change mm -hmm. it. Yes, so that's an example. Mm -hmm. So even the cardinals, bishop, and all this, they might be, but they still believe. In traditional <laughs> in tra African religion. Exactly, yeah. traditional African religion. Mm -hmm. Most of the, 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 the staunchest Muslims and Christians still believe in ancestral worship, mm -hmm. paying homage to the ancestors. They still attend the events. Mm -hmm. They still believe in witchcraft themselves. Mm -hmm. They still believe in wearing amulets. Mm -hmm. They still believe in, in the power of jujus and charms. Mm -hmm. They believe in all this, even though still worshiping their own religion, mm -hmm. you see. So uh, given that number, you can say probably that traditional African religion is probably almost 250 mm -hmm. million worshippers, okay. or mm -hmm. almost as mm -hmm. large as that. Because those who worship you know, other religions still mm -hmm. come back mm -hmm. to, to their villages and communities and participate in every one, mm -hmm. you know, of those ceremonies mm -hmm. that concern traditional African religion. And the and one that's how central thing that's uni uniting all of these mm -hmm. traditional African religions is the what? One supreme being. Exactly, that, uh, one, one supreme being. They mm -hmm. all believe in one supreme being. Mm -hmm. Even though they have, mm -hmm. you know, different gods and different deities mm -hmm. and different religions, like mm -hmm. we say, but they believe, mm -hmm. you know, in one supreme being. Mm -hmm. And that's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. But People should not misunderstand, mm -hmm. you know. The impact and the importance of mm -hmm. these uh, religions. But exactly, because this is a religion that belongs to people who are there. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, one can, can say that Islam and mm -hmm. Christianity are part of, you know, colonialist penetration into Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, because like they say, you know, when the colon colonialists came, they, they came with the Bible, the Bible in one hand, you know, and gone in the <laughs> other. Very good. Yeah, when the, the Muslims came from Arabia, they same, they came with the Quran in yeah. one hand, their whips and, you mm -hmm. know, guns in the mm -hmm. other, mm -hmm. you see. So that's very important mm -hmm. and, and significant, you know, to, to, to understand. Very good. And Dr. Mm -hmm. Madhu, we're in and uh, getting ready to uh, end this uh, segment uh, for today. Mm -hmm. And I want to uh, thank you for the information mm -hmm. that you've given in reference to it, because I don't think that mm -hmm. uh, many people have reflected upon traditional African religions. Mm -hmm. And in many instances, when they do, they sort of dismiss it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that the information that you've given uh, indicates that uh, not only are there a large number of traditionalists, mm -hmm. uh, but that uh, they are in a large number, and they, are, they mm -hmm. still have their influence. And if we're going to talk about religions, we have to understand their influence. And I want to thank you mm -hmm. for bringing that information. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.